Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Chakodash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, never well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above all. ball. Back at one another, listen to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Lord, what this video is edifying. All right, and it says, uh, C, C word trigger. Pandemic leading to more gun sales in the U.S. and more threats to shoot abusive ab abuse victims. Research is fine. All right. AR-15 rifles on sale. OK. And this is all according, according to the plan of Yahweh Bashem al It says the C pandemic has led to an upswing in gun sales. Researchers in the U.S. report with half of all victims of domestic violence saying they are now they now face more threats of being shot by their abusers than before it began the pandemic also has created a perfect storm for domestic and gender-based violence according to the researchers from the universities in texas and kentucky who have teamed up with the national coalition against domestic violence to assess the effects of c19 over the past year Nearly 40% of the respondents to their survey reported that gun sales had increased in their community since the start of the pan pandemic, with about 50,000 uh, respondents reporting that abusers threatening to shoot survivors had become a bigger problem. Okay. And as you can see, they keep bringing up all these different, um, you know, reports about gun violence and stuff like that, because why? Ultimately, Esau wants to take away the guns. He wants to take away your rights from you having your guns. And Bill and uh, Joe Biden, all right, has said this flat out many times that he wants to ban guns, you know, so on and so forth. OK, why is that, man? Because they plan on setting up their new world order. And when they come down with that great wrath, they want as least bit of resistance as possible, man. OK, it says the researchers asked professionals who dealt with domestic abuse survivors to have abuse victims complete. A questionnaire that asked about the impact of the plan gimmick in this study also looked at the risk of sur for survivors, the challenges for agencies and their interaction with police and sheriff's departments. The isolation resulting from this plan gimmick coupled with financial strain and a myriad of mental health issues by ex experienced by many creates a perfect storm to enhance the occurrence of gender based violence, said Kelly Lynch, a professor of criminology and criminal justice at the University of Texas in San, at San Antonio. All right. And now it says the results reveal very strong concerns about financial insecurity for survivors and their families. In particular, the ability to access safe housing was a major worry. With homelessness continuing to rise in the U.S. and many shelters operating at limited capacity, the impact of continued isolation on mental health and child wellness are also key issues that we must grapple with as we continue to move toward some version of normal. You see, because this place will never go back to normal. All right. And like it says, you know, the homelessness is going up. So people are going to start to get desperate out here, man. All right. That's why Age of talk about how the many shall die by famine and those who don't die of famine, they're going to die of the sword, man. You see? Okay, it's, it's getting real, you know, and that's why we have to return back to Yahweh Shemeshai while we have opportunity because we don't want to get caught up in these judgments, man. All right, we don't want to get judged like the wicked, all right, and die the death of the uncircumcised. It says the researcher or the research was conducted between September and December and respondents said they were affected by their being Fewer professional staff to help them statewide mandates, restricting access to services, limited resources, less shelter capacity and reduced criminal justice system operations. All right. Now it says the survey findings indicated that most respondents believe intimate partner violence, child abuse and sexual assault had increased during the pan pan gimmick or plan gimmick. All right, because this is a, this is a pandemic. They planned this, and as well, these are all planned gimmick. Okay, about two thirds of respondents reported that abusers had interfered with survivors' work or employment as a control tactic during the planned gimmick. All right, and two thirds of our people shall be cut off. So that's spiritual, right there. It says Lynch said the potential risk posed by increased access to firearms in volatile situations cannot be overlooked as an abusive partner's access to a firearm dramatically increased the risk of domestic fatality. The plan gimmick had forced agencies to quickly adapt their policies and manage with limited resources, she said. You see, so ultimately you see that the, the sword sales are going through the roof. 
All right. But as well, okay, this is all a part of the plan of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. Because here in the last days, it was prophesied how they're going to be fighting with one another with swords in their hands. Second Ezra 15, starting at verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. You see, so a lot of gun violence is going to be going down in the midst of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay, so get used to hearing gunshots and explosions and sounds of war because guess what, man? A, a sound of war and battle is going to be broken out upon the inhabitants of Babylon the Great and the soils of Babylon via Jacob's trouble, man. Okay, a time of trouble the world has never seen before. All right, it says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right, meaning anarchy. Anarchy meaning no rule. All right. Meaning that there's not going to be a ruler. There will be a ruler set up, but the, ultimately people are not going to reverence that ruler as the ruler. Everybody's going to be doing what's right in their own sight, man. OK, it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? Because you're going to have martial law out here, here in these streets, man, with these different mercenaries and Gurkha troops and FEMA troops and, you know, um, UN troops and the national guard okay and that's and they're going to be a part of the resistance too man okay because esau within himself is a gang you know these different police forces they're all a bunch of gangs man all right in a roundabout way they just work for the devil okay and when i'm saying the devil i'm talking about this beast system okay it says for because of their pride the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid you see, even grown men are going to be afraid out here, here in these last days during the time of Jacob's trouble. Like it tells you in Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. Hey, does not scripture say in the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly, roughly paraphrasing. Jeremiah 30 and verse 5. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling and fe of fear and not of peace. Yeah, when you're in the midst of Jacob's trouble, you're going to hear a lot of trembling, fear and voices not of peace, man. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child, right? Because these men out here are going to be carrying themselves like women, man. Scared like women. All right? Imagine a grown-ass man screaming like a pregnant woman. You see? Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. You see? Because everybody's going to be ashamed in that day. It says, alas, for that day is great. So that none is like it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he, referring to the elect, shall be saved out of it. So that's the time of the trouble that we're coming into, where Michael the archangel, all right, which is the archangel of war, is going to have to stand up, meaning the time of divine intervention, all right, in the time of battle. You see? Because Jacob's trouble is going to be as a battle, man. Swarp say, like it says, people standing up with swords in their hands, you see? sword is for war okay daniel 12 and 1 and at that time shall michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as was never since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time that people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book you see right referring to the elect man all right so it's going to be a great time of trouble a time of tribulation man all right and so you know instead of trying to uh you know go and get your guns and get strapped up man get your get strap your faith up okay put on the full armor of your about shemel shot that's what you should be preparing not not getting guns now for brothers who have guns you know you're not going off that's your business so to speak okay you're not going off but at the same time, you know, hey, like like it says in the book of Psalms, the 44th chapter, okay. Psalms 44 and 4. Thou art my king, O Yahweh, Baal al Shai, command deliverances for Jacob. Hey, did we not read? But he shall be saved out of it, referring to the elect. The Lord is going to command deliverances for the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. In verse 5, through thee we will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. Yeah, that's what you want to get your sword sharpened on. The name of the Lord, man. This word. Okay? Not going to the target range for practice, man. Because it ain't nothing for the Lord to have someone draw the gun first and shoot you first, man. Or shoot you and you don't even realize they there, man. Okay? 
You know, and that's as many one of the many different uh, speculations of the Lord can use for judgment, so to speak. The gun could jam. You could be in a shootout. Next thing you know, the gun jam. Do shoot you, you know. So ultimately, you build up your faith with Yahweh Hashem That spiritual power won't jam, man. All right, because when the Lord commands deliverances, deliverances will be. All right, and that's just the plain fact of the matter. But we have to build up our faith and we have to build up our spirits for these upcoming times that we're coming into, man. Because these aren't going to be no light times, man. Okay, scripture said, time of trouble the world has never seen before, man. These are going to be very troublesome times, perilous times, man. All right, verse 7, it says, or verse 6, for I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. Yeah, we're not going to trust in our weapons. Our carnal weapons. We're going to trust in the spiritual weapon, which is this word of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, which is sharper than any two-edged sword, man. All right, you rather get you rather get shot by a gun than get cut up with this word, man. Hey, the scriptures say the spirit, the, the the infirmity of a man, the spirit of a man will sustain its infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear, man. <laughs> so when your spirit is cut and broken, man, that shit hurts. Bad. That's why the scripture said, give me any plague but the plague of the heart. Roughly paraphrasing, man. When your mind is plagued, man, and you, you've escaped from the, the comfort of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Hey, man. That hurts, man. Okay? And it can lead to physical pain as well. Verse 7, it says, but thou hast saved us from our enemies and hast put them to shame that hated us. Yeah, two-thirds of our people, the wicked, you heathens, you're going to be ashamed. All right? Because you hated the elect. You see, and you're going to be ashamed in the times of trouble. While the elect are being protected during the times of trouble, guess what, man? You're going to be ashamed in that day. This is Isaiah 65, starting at verse 12. It says, therefore, I will number you to the sword, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Yeah, two-thirds of our people are going to be bowed down to the slaughter, man. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that, and wherein I delighted not. Yeah, you wanted to go after the way, to, you wanted to go after the opposite. The Lord tell you, go, go right, you wanted to walk left. You see? And the Lord was calling you, telling you, come back, return, but you said, nah, I ain't coming. So now you got to pay for that. Verse 13, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power. Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Okay. Yeah. Every man's face has gathered paleness. You guys are going to be ashamed. Those who turn their back on Yahweh Shemashai, you are going to be ashamed, man. All right. You try to uh, uh, consent unto Esau, you're going to be had in derision. You see, because the Lord, he's going he's gonna to make sure his elect is straight. He's going to make sure his elect eats, man. This is Luke 12 and 22. And he said unto his disciples, therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, neither for your body, what you shall put on. Yeah, why? Because all that stuff is going to be taken care of, man. If the Most High feeds the fowls of heaven, he clothes the grass of the field. You know, the Lord be feeding crickets, man. <laughs> you know, so, something to be so minuscule and uh, insignificant. But guess what? The Most High even feeds them. So how much more us being his hopeful elect, Lord, will we be a part of that number, man? Hey, did not the scripture say in the book of Psalms, I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. So for those brothers who have children in these upcoming times, okay, and it's the most high's will, all right, you and your family is going to be straight, man. This is Psalms 37 and 25. I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. You see, hey, the scripture say the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, you know, but they that uh, 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 wait on the Lord and fear the Lord shall not want any good thing. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Okay. Call like him like you how about Shemel Shai. Now let's go ahead and get this next one. This is second Ezra chapter two and verse 27. It says, be not weary for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. Going back to that shame, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. That's right. Okay. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. My hands shall cover thee so that thy children see not hell. Hell meaning the grave. All right. And ultimately, all right. None of us, Lord willing, we be a part of the elect. None of us are really going to perish, even though we might die in this present body. We still have victory over the second death. Therefore, we don't really perish, man. Because that second death is the ICBM nuclear missiles, man. And all who partake of it are worthy of it, man. All right. Like it tells you in Wisdom of Solomon, you know. Let me get that scripture real quick. Wisdom Solomon 1 and verse 15, it says, But ungodly men 
with their works and words called it to them for when talking about what they called death unto them why because they made a covenant with death man all you want to take the vaccine all you want to take the chip the mark of the beast you are making a covenant with death are you making a covenant with esau edom and the scriptures say esau is as death habakkuk 2 and 5 all right and it's going to lead to your death and destruction man all right Hey, the scriptures say the root of wisdom is the fear of the Lord and the branches thereof are long life. So the beginning of wisdom is fear and the fruit that comes from it, the branches, so to speak, is long life, man. That's the health, man. The fearing the Lord brings health unto you, man. All right. But the opposite brings death. You see, and that's why the Most High is sharpening his sword to to execute death and destruction and judgment upon wicked people. Verse 16, but ungodly men with their works and words called it to them for when they have thought to have to have it their friend. They consumed to not and made a covenant with it because they are worthy to partake with it. So, yeah, you made a covenant with death because you're worthy to partake of death, man, because ultimately you niggas love death, man. All right. Proverbs 8 and 36. He that uh, hated all them that hate me love death. You see. So, hey, this is what these are the times that we're coming into, man. All right. This is second Ezra 16 and. um. I'll go to verse 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who sh will deliver me in those days? This is Ezra, a man of the Lord saying that. So how much more? Two thirds. Hey, the scriptures say, if the righteous and the sinner shall be scarcely saved, where shall the slack him? If the righteous shall be scarcely saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? You see? Verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings and the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars. War is needed for what? So, uh, instrument of war is a part of the what? It's the sword, man. So these gun cells going up is biblical prophecy in a roundabout way. It says, and the power shall stand in fear in the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? But wh what are we going to do? We're going to trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and let's, let's get the answer for what we're going to do. Second Ezra's. 16 and verse 67 behold the most high himself is the judge fear him leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever so shall the most high lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble that's what we're going to do in the time of trouble lord willing verse 68 for behold the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you friend of what revelation 12 and 12 the devils come down unto you having great wrath because he know if he have but a short time esau knows his kingdom is almost up so he's trying to hurry up set up his new world order upset prophecy so to speak you know, that's why he's going to come down with that great wrath. He's going to come down with that sword, man. Like it tells us in Revelation, the sixth chapter. OK, how he was blessed with the sword. All right. But also that pale horse is going to be brought upon Babylon, the great man. OK, Revelation six and four. And there went out another horse that was red, referring to Esau, Edom. And power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. And that's what you see. You don't, you don't see peace in this earth right now. You see mourning over this earth. Because Esau is in rulership and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And that's this devil's blessing, the sword. And these devils are going to kill each other, man. In the midst of World War Three, in the midst of Jacob's trouble, you know, martial law, so on and so forth, man. And they've been killing each other. I'm going to skip down to verse eight. It says, and I looked and behold, a pale horse and his name that sat on him was death. OK, because death is coming, man. All right. <laughs> on a mass scale. Because guess what, man? Death is death. Ultimately, is going to be overcome. So the Lord is going to let death. The Lord is going to let Esau have their last little hoorah, so to speak, man. Because you know, hey, hey you know, hey, when the kingdom comes, death is still going to be around. You know, people are still going to die, but it's not going to be like how it is on this side, man. All right, it says, and hell was, and hell followed with him. Hell meaning a lowest state, also the grave, and power was given unto them. Over the fourth part of the earth, which is the fourth part of the earth is referring to the region of Babylon, the great so-called America to kill with sword, you know, your guns, your bombs, your weapons, so on and so forth. The missiles, it says with hunger, famine and with death. Yeah, there's many different ways to die, you know, and with the beast of the earth. Right. Because you're going to have wild beasts coming out here in these last days too, man. Creatures that men have never seen before attacking them, putting them to death, so on and so forth. These are the times of Jacob's trouble that we're coming into, man. All right. So understanding all this at hand, why, why would you want to play with the Lord, man? You know, but you know, you're still going to have some people who 
abuse the liberty at hand. Therefore, like Scripture says, Second Ezra nine, they shall know death by pain. Okay. Second Ezra sixteen and sixty eight. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you. Meaning, they're going to snatch certain brothers up into them FEMA camps. They're going to snatch up a lot of you Israelites into them FEMA camps. And I'm saying, I'm referring to the two thirds. Even some of you Edomites going to get snatched up to them FEMA camps in that day, man. All right, and you see how uh, in Israel they're deeming those who don't have the 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 uh, the the Maxine as enemies to the state. Okay, guess what? They're gonna do that in Babylon the Great too, man. Okay, it says and they and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. Yeah, you're gonna be idle in them FEMA camps. Okay, and they're gonna try to feed you with that chip, that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. And more than likely, they're gonna try to feed you with that Maxine too, man. All right. Because this this uh, so-called plan gimmick is a catalyst to them bringing forth their new world order and their enterprise, which shall be disappointed as the scriptures say. All right. Your enterprise will not be crowned with success like you devils think. Verse 69. And they that consent unto them, referring to the sellouts of our people, shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Right. Esau going to turn his back on you, man. All right, like it says, if he have needed, if he have needed thee, you know, he will smile upon thee, speak fair unto thee. But if you know, basically, he got what he wants out of you, he's gonna, he's gonna basically cast you away. That's in the book of Sirach. Let me get that real quick. Sirach Ecclesiastes, thirteen and six it says, if he have need of thee, he will deceive thee and smile upon thee. And put thee in hope. Oh, don't worry. It's all going to go back to normal once you get your shots. It's all going to go back to normal. And he will speak fair and will speak thee fair and say, what want is thou? Oh, you want more stimulus checks? Okay, no problem. Oh, free donuts from Krispy Kreme for the rest of the year if you take this vaccine. You see? And he will shame thee by his meats until he have drawn thee dry twice or thrice. And at the last he will laugh thee to scorn. Afterward, when he seeth thee, he will forsake thee and shake his head at thee. Right. So you're going to be had in derision. You see? And all you Jakes who sold out, all right, <laughs> you're going to realize that Esau does not have your best interests at heart. And you might already peep that now, but you're just so blinded that you're trying to justify what you did. Because that's how Jake likes to do. Jake likes to justify why they're doing something wrong. Because they know deep down inside they're, they're doing something wrong. So if they can find a way to justify it. It'll help their own conscience, man, because whether you Jakes want to recognize it or not, man, Israel is a people of conscience. We all have consciences, and I'm referring to us Israelites, all right? And I'm not saying the heathen don't either, but I'm mainly talking to the Israelites right now, all right? You know, we have consciences, and, you know, when our consciences condemn us as us being a nation of Israel, it, it, it really plays a toll on us, man. So Jake... They'll just try to find a roundabout way to just justify their conscience, so to speak, man. But knowing deep down inside that that shit is still fucking with them. You see? Nonetheless, verse 69, 2nd 16 to 69. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and reproach and trodden underfoot. Yeah, Esau going to roll right through you too. All right, all you Jakes who sold out, took the Maxine, he going to roll right through you too. He's going to look at you as an enemy in that state, and enemy as the state in that day as well, man. And that's why, brothers, you're going to need divine intervention. You're going to need, you know, the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Hashem, the angels, divine intervention, spiritual power, so on and so forth. Big faith, man. All that. Because why? Because we're coming into a serious times, man. Serious times. You see? Serious times where women are going to be forced or or you know in a roundabout way forced to want to cleave to one man because you know a lot of these women they rather die prior to them sharing a man so what the what do you think is going down in society that's so bad where women multiple women are going to share one man just so they just so they're straight in that day come on man you got to really meditate and think about that it's a time of trouble the world has never been seen before, and the elect shall be saved out of it. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. Verse 70, it says, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. The insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Like Psalm 64, you see, insurrection meaning uprising. Esau is going to roll with these different martial law troops, casting people out of their houses, throwing them in FEMA camps. All that, man. All right, verse 71, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Yeah, they're going to be like madmen. They're going to be putting people to death right to left, man. 
You see? That's why people are trying to get their guns up, man. Because they think that that's going to protect them in that day. But you you don't got the firepower Esau got, man. We just read in the Revelation how it was given unto him a great sword. All right? He has the greatest sword, so to speak, under Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see? But nonetheless... We'll continue. All right, this devil got laser beam technology, man. <laughs> and he, he, this devil got drones. He don't even got to send his men to come dust you jakes off. He could just send a drone, blow you, blow your whole hood up, so to speak. This is the devil we talking about, man. Esau, eat him. All right? So that's why we need to get our faith up, man. Fuck getting our guns up, man. We don't got guns like Esau got guns, man. And that's just the plain fact of the matter. Do you see? This devil got all types of devices that he could release. This devil has a fucking sound wave gun. All right? A sound wave gun, man. And and that's just what they that's just what they expose to us. There's some shit that they have in the works that this is highly classified, so to speak, man. You know, but in due time everything will be revealed. And guess what? We're going to have that technology, but we're going to use it in righteousness. You see, the Lord has given Esau certain knowledge of certain things. And the scripture say he wiser than Daniel, you know, so he, this devil, he goes, Lord gives him certain knowledge to know certain things. You see, but he's using it in wickedness. We're going to be using it in righteousness in the kingdom to come. But nonetheless, prior to us coming into that kingdom, we must go through this time of Jacob's trouble. That's the birth pains that was written about in Isaiah. You see. Because after those birth pains, after Jacob's trouble comes, bam, the baby comes, meaning our kingdom, Yahweh Shai, he's coming back. Our kingdom is going to be established the same day Jacob's trouble is over, same day Esau goes out of, out of power, same day our kingdom is being established. Just like that. Just like how Jacob pulled Esau's heel. You know, that just same sequence. You see, Esau is the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So we are at the end, man. And we are up next. But, you know, we're going to have to go through some trouble sometimes. Okay. All right. Now, this is 2nd Ezra 16 and 70, or verse 71. It's like it, verse 72. It says, For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Yeah, so if you have the elect, guess what? You're going to be tried. Okay, but you have to have faith. All right. Scripture talk about the trial of our faith being more precious than of gold that perisheth, man. You see? Verse uh, 74, hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand. So the Lord is letting us know, yeah, trouble is coming. Yeah, the Lord ain't hiding that from us. He's letting us know the days of trouble are at hand. But what? But I will deliver you from the same. What's the stipulation to that? Be not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh Shemashah is your guide, right? And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Right. So really, that's the point. Uh, Lord, what well, this video was edifying. It was a little impromptu through the spirit. I saw this and I just, you know, spirit automatically hopped on me to do the video, you know. So, Lord, what well, this video was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, the Ruel, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and the Baba Ball.